And hi folks, this is Old Uncle Out. This is a PSA for everybody in the Southeast, Florida, East Coast, and everybody. You have to be careful of certain scam artists, certain websites. It's old cover thy ass. Be careful with rumor control. I tell a lot of people because we had an incident at my church. I took care of it because every Monday at the office at the dairy, at the office at the church, I can't do anything physically because of my medical problems and the hernia. Okay, everybody's worried that I might keel over at the church. I'm not. Okay, but you have to be careful of scam artists. You have to make sure it's a real person. I told everybody on their mission to the affected areas, record everything with your phones, get a receipt, identify the person you're giving it to, okay? Make sure they hold up ID, you take a picture of them, you get it down, you get a receipt, and you make sure you get everything. I give them a sheet and you follow these steps. Record everything, make sure you get a receipt, and make sure you get identification, all right? And then I'll raise hell. Because this morning at the office, at the church office, while I was going over the books and yelling at people, all right, somebody called and they requested our supplies. And I'm like, who the hell is this? All right, and they said, are they, one was American Red Cross. Red Cross don't call you for that, all right? You call them. Fact one. Fact two. I had another one saying, we're from FEMA and Homeland Security. And I checked the number and it wasn't Homeland Security. And I always backtrack and I found out it's from North Dakota. Okay. So I called my friends in Fresno, Sacramento, and Bakersfield. And they said, we don't have anybody out there. So you know it's a scam. So I told them, please contact either Sacramento, Fresno, or Bakersfield, and they will contact me. Okay, I gave them the number, they're tracking those idiots down. All right, I think it's a burner phone. Remember, be careful on these scams. And if you're going to help out in the areas, know what you're doing. You just don't take your, I'll take my bath boot and rescue people. You die. Okay? Don't take your dog. Don't take your wife. You go out there and you rescue the person. Don't get like, I'm on my roof and the whole place is where they're at. And I'm going to stick it out. Can you spare some water and canned foods? Hell no. You drag their ass out of there. Okay? Don't screw around. All right? There's a lot of people. I have friends that are still in National Garden. They're telling me they're doing their damn best to help everybody out. But sometimes people get in the way. And sometimes they they have big units that are getting away. Their biggest problems, they're working their butts off to get through, is other agencies and volunteers that don't know or don't have the proper training. That drives them nuts. Okay, know what you're doing. If you got a vehicle and you know there's a fake checkpoint, call call it in, photograph it. Remember, you got a phone, record it, get all, all the information, write it down, get the license plates, everything. I give a checklist to all the people I sent out on the mission. Okay, they arrested some uh, local county guys. They arrested one sheriff. And they arrested a couple of state guys for doing stuff like this, all right? If you're on a mission and you have a set point, you know all the roads and back roads, because a lot of pe these people, we're going into woods and set up a homestead. Well, that's stupid as hell. They never learn by their lessons. Remember, in the old days, only 40% of the hardcore people People who lived in the jungles, people, you know, skilled to the max, only survive. 60% of them die. 
All right, so this is a PSA. Be careful of scam artists. Be careful of certain crooks in a local, state, and federal. Okay, you have to be careful. Record everything. Don't trust no one. Keep telling this to people the last six years, but do they listen? Hell no. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. God bless and good luck. Remember, it's 2024, reality check time. You have, let's see, 16 years and 10 months left. Then the great disaster, and I can't help you. All right, God bless and good luck.